slopes make this sport extremely fun. The steeper the slope, the more dangerous the stunts become and the more skills are required. We can compare different slopes by simply looking at them to see which is steeper. But another way is by calculating a value called the gradient. The gradient will give an exact value of the steepness of the slope. Let's look at this slope on some graph paper. Let's pick two points on the line. Call the first P1. It has coordinates 0, 2. The second point is P2 with coordinates 10, 7. These are the best points because they form a large enough triangle that takes up more than half of the graph. You can find the gradient by dividing the change in the y values by the change in the x. The change in the y value here is 5 units. The change in the x values is 10 units. That gives 5 divided by 10 and a gradient of 0 0.5. Let's do it again, but this time to get a very generic equation that can be used in all straight line graphs. Let's replace P1 with generic values of x1, y1. Let's do the same for P2, replacing with x2, y2. Now to find the change in y in order to find the gradient, we can write y2 minus y1. And to find the change in x, we write x2 minus x1. Here we have a very generic equation that can be used to find the gradient of any straight line graph. So I'm finished, but I don't know what to do next. I recorded the speeds of the trolley at different times using the ticker tape. And now I have to find the acceleration. Okay. Acceleration. How am I supposed to do that? I hate this class. The first step to solving this problem is to calm down. You think more logically when you are calm. I'll try plotting a graph. Okay, so that might be a good start. So I'll put the velocity on the y-axis and I'll put the time on the x-axis. We know that if an object is changing its speed as time goes by, it is accelerating. We should remember the equation v equal u plus a t. It can also be written as a equal v minus u divided by t. If we look at the gradient, the change on the y-axis is the same as the change in velocity. The change on the x-axis is the time over which this happened. Therefore, the gradient gives the acceleration. But does she realize this? How does this gradient relate to anything? Oh gosh, I'm tired. I've been trying so hard and I still don't know how to find the acceleration. I want to give up. It's not good to give up easily. Remember to persevere when you have difficulties. I was trying to find the density of wood. And I plotted this graph. So we know that the equation for density is mass divided by volume. So I'm dividing the mass, which is on the y-axis, by the volume on the x-axis. Okay, so that means that the gradient must be 330 kilograms per meter cubed. The gradient is the density. The gradient is the density. So how come I can't get the first one? Let me see if I can't find something on YouTube. Okay, so here we go. This looks exciting. When all else fails, just ask for some help.